Welcome back, everyone. Well, flowers, we know, are so beautiful, but the sad part is, at some point, they die. The answer, florals that have an unlimited shelf life. Here to show us the paper flowers from Pink and Posey is its creator, Quinn Wynn. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for being with us. Oh, this is so great. Much. And so this is what Pink and Posey does. You create these gorgeous yes. arrangements, mm -hmm. okay? How does this even work? Like, I'm looking at this, and I, I do not see something that I could put together. But this is what you do. I do. <laughs> okay. Yes, and I teach workshops, and I teach other people how to make paper flowers. How did you learn this? I, it was all self-taught. <gasps> So just looking at real flowers, deconstructing them, and then making my own templates. That's great. Yeah. Okay, so what do we have going on today? What are you going to show us how to so do? So I'm going to show you how to make a peony. And so what you do is with this particular kit, you get all everything you need, except you'll need some scissors, glues, and floral tape. Okay. But once you have the, there's instruction with step by step. And then you just kind of follow it through, and I'll quickly show you how to do it. Okay. So the, I think the hardest part for a lot of people is doing the center part. And so this is what we're going to try to do. Okay. So um, the peony. <laughs> has these beautiful carpels that looks like this and so I included some modeling clay that you can actually just um, pull up a little piece out and then just stick the stigma inside and there's some wires in there and you just form the carpel kind of something like that. this yeah and then you can color it and we'll just use this one right here and then just color it with a little bit of pan pastels and then you get the beautiful um, Carpal. Look at that. And so, I'm sorry, yeah. what is? what are you using oh, to color everything? These are amazing. These are pan pastels. Okay. They're um, a really extra fine powder. Almost think of like blush. Oh, and okay. it's kind of like giving colors to your um, flowers. Okay, so you're putting makeup on your bouquet. Exactly. I like it. Exactly. <laughs> and you can tint it any colors you want. And the really cool part is these paper, they come in so many different colors. Um, we have the Italian crepe paper over here. Yeah. We have the German crepe paper also. And those are the two favorite mediums that I use. And you can color them, dye them. Um, um, wet them and it's just really amazing and you can do so much with them. Did you start this as a hobby as just like this is something that I'm interested in so I'm just gonna give it a go? Actually it was not. So <laughs> I was I, I do a little bit of it planning on the side and one of my brides asked me to do paper flowers and so I was like sure I can make it happen and we made it happen. <laughs> we had an amazing photographer and then a whole bunch of people started asking me about it and so I started researching it a little bit more and this is where I am now. I love that. Yeah. Okay so then how do you do the rest of this. Yes, so in the, in the booklet, there's also templates or non, you can trace the template, cut them out, and then pretty much it's super easy, and I pretty much don't use any templates now because I make so many, and so what I usually do is I just fold it in half, and I just cut a petal shape, but you can follow inside the book, and it'll tell you how to do it, and then each of these petals, I usually hand cut and detail, and so you can actually have a lot of fun. I think that's the best part, besides coloring the petals, which is a lot of fun. So if you want to, why don't I have you color some petals? Okay. You can choose any of these colors, and then and just um, kind of rub it. Yeah, in there. just rub it in a little bit, and just put it wherever you want to, <sighs> and then it just colors the petal. Just that a little tint of color that gives it a little bit more dimension yeah. and life to and it. And you can mix. Yes, the you colors? can definitely mix it. And it's so much fun. That is I so think, cool. I feel like a little kid in kindergarten yeah. back again. <laughs> and it's so stress free. And it's just you take your time. And I feel like a, a kid in kindergarten too. But in this case, it's okay for me to color outside the lines, which is a nice exactly. change. Exactly. You yes. can just get it right over here. I know. And the fun part is you can do so many because there's so many petals in a peony, and um, just having the variations in them is so much fun. Okay, so once you've gotten all your petals done, so once you have it all done, what you do there's a couple of techniques, and what you can do is you, I call it cupping, which is you put your two thumbs in the middle and you push out, and suddenly you have like pretty much a petal. Look at that! And then um, there's so many fun techniques. You can actually pretend to tear the paper, and then you suddenly create little tiny ruffles. And it just transforms it That's into awesome. like a really fun way. So you really can, yeah. even though you know there's this kit with step by step way to do it. You are ultimately making a one of a kind flower. Yes, exactly. Because you can do whatever you want. Yeah, with you're it. coloring it the way that you want to. You're forming the petals. You could add and take away petals that you want. So if you want a more full bloom, add more petals. If you want a more simple bloom, take the petals away. Right. So it's so much fun. That's a lot great. of customization. 
And so yeah. then for this, how does this factor in? To oh, the so this of? is the stamens. And so what you do is I provide the yellow paper and you'll need a little bit of paint to kind of do the faux pollen. Okay. And then once you have it, and then you start fringing, and so I've gotten really good at it. Um, I did a citywide um, cherry blossom event of, with Nordstrom and Franz Chocolate last yeah. year. And so I got to make 4,000 cherry blossoms. Oh. And so I gotten really good at fringing. And I was gonna say, watching you do that is um, akin to watching a chef when you're like <laughs> chopping an onion. How are they going that fast? I don't know, exactly. but I guess if you're making that many Yes, cherry blossoms, there's a lot of practice. <laughs> right. How long did that take you though, even I, with that speed? Well, I was, purely devoting to it and that took me about two months. Oh my gosh. And so we did six stores and so many cherry blossoms. Oh my gosh. I, well, I know we have some photos of some of the flowers yes. that you've created over time, uh -huh. which is, look at that. I mean, yeah. particularly, well, all of them, I was gonna say, particularly on the upper left, they look real, but they all look real. Thank, thank you they so much. Do. How, have you ever, um, I'm sure that you've fooled a lot of people, have you ever fooled a bee? Yes, okay. I actually have. It was so funny. We were doing a photo shoot outside, and I turned around, and there was a couple bees on the pollen. It was it was really funny. That is like the <laughs> ultimate compliment for what you do, I think. Okay. Yes. So what services does Pink and Posy provide, if people are interested in this? Yes, I do uh, floor arrangements for weddings, special events. I also do a lot of commercial work. I teach a lot of workshops. We just did our first international master class. Wow. We had people from flying all over the world. I was a founder for the Paper Floors Collective, so if you want to be a paper floors. Um, you can hop onto Facebook and look for the paper floors. And we have close to 5,000 members now, which is amazing. That's wonderful. And so I also do a podcast too. It's called The Paper Talk. So you can find more about and hear the voices of our paper flower community. And do you have an event coming up this weekend? Yes, I do. So I'm actually teaching a workshop with Kate uh, Colbert Lily. She actually has a book coming out next month. And we're going to be teaching one of the peonies from that book. Oh, that's great. At the Bellevue Botanical Garden. Okay. Mm -hmm. I love that all of this came from you just yes. saying, sure. I can do that. Yes. That's like a lesson to all of us that don't get in your mind that you can't do it. Give it a try and look, you might start your own amazing business. Yep. Thank you so much for being here with us. Thank you it so was much great for having to have me. you. Yeah. <laughs> okay, tips on getting all parts of your kitchen organized coming up next with help from Shelf Genie. We will be right back. <laughs>